Excuse me. Ah, class, this is Mr. Jablonski, the new choir director. Oh. Now, I know nobody wants to be in the choir. Hey, I wanted to be the wrestling coach, but do you see me complaining? Well, I am complaining. But the point is, we need singers. We, we can, can sing. <laughs> row, 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 row. You came row, in too early. You're supposed to come in on both. I've been coming in on row for years. You've been coming in wrong for years. <laughs> Life is but a dream. That was pathetic. Okay, you're in. <laughs> oh, champ. How about you? Oh, no. No, I can't sing. I'm terrible. And... That's a problem because... No, I'm not kidding. Listen. I've got you <laughs> under my skin. Ooh. What the heck? That's great. You're in. No, no, wait, wait. I don't really sing like that. I've got... You so deep in the heart of me. Jack. <laughs> now, for our Swiss audience, a little yodeling. Yole, yole, yole. <laughs> hey, uh, has anyone told you you look a lot like the Mandrill sisters? Sing a song, doo-da, doo-da. Marty, you gotta get me out of this place. Look at it, it's Geek Central. Good afternoon. I want to welcome you all to choir. Just remember, don't be sharp, don't be flat, be natural. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jablonski, I can't wait to begin. <laughs> Touche. Get me out of here. Don't worry. I'm not gonna zap you, so you'll sing lousy. And then they'll kick me out. No. But at least you'll fit in. Hi. Are you Steve Beauchamp? Uh, yeah. I'm Edie. I, I heard you have a beautiful voice. Well, I used to. But I better not anymore. That's too bad. I, I was looking for someone to sing with. Beauchamp. Let's start with that beautiful voice of yours. Zap me. But I thought you didn't want me. Zap me. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound <laughs> that saved a wretch like me. Hi, Mom. Hi, Katie. Hi, Steve. What a great day it was today, huh? Wow, you look like you're on cloud nine. Cloud nine? I've been there. No biggie. I get my kicks on cloud 66. <laughs> oh, macaroni and cheese. The crumpled potato Mom. chip crust. Mom, you are the best. Mom? Yeah. Steve's scaring me. I'm just happy because I joined the choir today. You joined the choir? I mean, of course you joined the choir. <laughs> Is it a singing choir, honey? Yeah. Hey, guys. Hi, Pam. Sis, did you get younger since last night? You're sweet. No, I mean it. It's creeping me out. This one, it, Pam. Steve just joined the choir. You? <laughs> Come on, fess up. You did it to meet girls. Aunt Pam, I don't do everything to meet girls. Yeah, right. By the way... Here's your application for nursing school. <laughs> hey, Steve. Are you excited about the concert tonight? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to harmonize with you. Marty, did you hear that? This nursing school looks great. I think they need cadavers? <laughs> Forget that. Think I should make my move on Edie? Sure. All right. Well, before you do, are you sure she likes you or your voice? Because if it's your voice, then she really likes me. And I'm not seeing women right now, mostly because they can't see me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Edie likes me for me. 
Let me do some research here. Edie, would you ever go out with a guy who couldn't sing? Gross. I was afraid of that. Hey, I could find out a lot of things. Edie, what did you think of Marty DePolo when he was alive? Gross. <laughs> Not licked yet. Edie, what would you think of Marty DePolo if he were alive and he could sing? Gross. <laughs> I give up. Oh, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, how sweet, amazing grace I'm talking about a bit Steve. All right, I made up my mind. I'm gonna ask her out. Dude, I'm telling you, she only liked you because of your voice. I don't care. So this means I have to zap you as long as this relationship lasts. Dates, marriage, anniversaries. Look, I just want to make out. Welcome to the Stephen Eady concert featuring the Marshall High Choir. We've had a great season and this is our last stop. Good. Because this is our last stop, too. <laughs> yes, well, uh, enjoy the show. I walked one day beneath the summer sky And my heart was young, but the was high He came along and I... Mmm, choo-choo cherry. Hey, use a cup. Nobody wants your backwash. <laughs> you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the other kid in the silver pajamas. You can see me? Yeah, but I'm trying to see the choir. Oh, I'll look at you. Hey, Edie. Hey, Steve. Are you free this weekend? Uh, sure. Actually, I was just going to ask you that. Well, I was gonna do it at the woman's prison, but then the riot broke out and all those people were dying. And... Well, you know, there's a talent show this Saturday, and, and I thought maybe we could sing. Do we really have to sing? I was kind of hoping that this performance at the old folks' home was gonna be my triumphant finale. <laughs> Steve, you never want to sing, and I don't know why. You have a very sexy voice. What? <clears throat> Steve, do it for me, please. Okay. Uh. <laughs> she just entered me in a talent show. You think you've got problems? I have to give her a loofah bath. <laughs> Ninety-seven. Ninety-eight. <laughs> Nine. Hey, what are you doing? Now that somebody can see me, I have to look my best. <laughs> Man, you're really losing your feathers over this. I still don't understand how this happened. Well, maybe you're starting to become visible. Steve, can I borrow a pen? Bwah, bwah! Oogly boogly! <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> Thanks. Scratch that theory. <laughs> oh, great, that's Edie. Man, how long can you keep fooling this girl? How many times did you tell girls you were the boy from E.T.? But it never worked. That's my point. <laughs> Dude, she's a nice girl. It's not right to keep lying to her. When did you get so holier than thou? Since I became an angel. <laughs> oh, right. Listen, just help me out, okay? Hi, Edie. Hi. Ready to rehearse? Oh. Um, we can rehearse a little later. 
This might sound a little bit weird, but could you sing to me? It, it just does something to me. La donna è mobile, qual più mal vento. That is so beautiful. You, you sing like an angel. Thank you. Muta da cento e di pensiero. Steve, don't stop. Keep singing. La donna è mobile, qual più mal vento. Sing. Muta da cento. Encore. No. Mr. Head. Mr. Head. Yo, Headster. <laughs> Mr. Stallone? You're not due here till 1990? Oh, it's you, Marty. So, what can I do for you? Steve's been driving me crazy with this singing. See, I played this prank on him where I gave him a beautiful voice. You don't have to tell me. I'm omnipotent. Ooh. Well, don't feel bad. Happens to a lot of men your age. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm not talking... Look, don't worry about Steve. When someone pretends to be something he's not, sooner or later, he'll get caught. Oh, listen, the other reason I'm here is because I met this old lady who can see me. Ah, yes. Marty, I'm afraid she's about to make the transition. Transition? Oh, no. Uh, there's no reason to be sad. What lies ahead is a glorious experience. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's so cranky. Because she's afraid of what's coming. Mm. Hey, you think I should go talk to her? That would be very nice, Marty. You know what else would be very nice? If you tossed me that towel. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the Thurgood Marshall High Follies. Now, remember, this is a talent show, but we should also applaud for those who are less talented. Not me. All right. Our first act, let's have a big round of applause for Jordan and Dude. Dude, check out the crowd. You nervous, dude? Dude. Dude kicks lamb chops, but Katie, well, he does. Steve, did you see first prize a jet ski? Yeah, well, eighth prize is really nice too. A free taco with purchase of same. <laughs> Don't be silly. We're going to win. Marty, I need you, man. Hi. Remember me? Oh, yeah. You're the kid that stood in front of me so I couldn't see the choir. Thank you. Actually, I'm an angel. An angel? From heaven. Uh-huh. I'm a gymnast from Romania. <laughs> I really am an angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want proof? You're married to a man named Mitch. Even though your name is Lori, he called you Laura Lee. Because that's the name of his favorite song. He sang that song to you on your wedding night. And before he died. But he promised he'd sing it to you one day again. You couldn't have known that. You are an angel. But why are you coming here to see me? Uh-oh. There's nothing to be afraid of. I just came down because I thought you might want to talk to somebody before you meet the head. The who? No. The who is going to that other place. <laughs> well, where exactly are we going? Heaven. 
Oh, moving on up. Oh, you're such a nice young man. Here's a dollar. I can't take tips. Well, have a peppermint. Okay. <laughs> we used to wear hats, just like the Mad Hatter. We used to be fat, but now we're fatter. Fat. Fatter! <laughs> Bring back Dude! Katie, that's not very polite. Bring back Dude! <laughs> that was the Pasty Boys. Excuse me, Mr. Nitschke. That's the Pastry Boys. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Poppin' fresh. <laughs> We're on next. Marty, where are you, man? I'd like you to meet a new member of heaven. I told her all about you. You didn't tell me he was so handsome. Well, thank you. She's right. You are a honey. Silence. <laughs> I hope your trip here was enjoyable. Oh, it was very nice, thank you. And Marty was such a great comfort to me. Yes, yes, he's a constant joy. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do our best to make your stay here as wonderful as possible. We'll start things off with a nice gift basket. Gift basket? It's full of goodies to help with your adjustment. Ooh! Turtle wax. I didn't get a gift basket. Marty. Where's my turtle wax? Marty, don't you have someplace else to be? Not really. You gonna eat that salami? Go help Steve with the talent show. Oh, man. Marty tells me you work for it. He what? <laughs> Black magic has me in a spell. Hold that magic that you weave so well. Those ice fingers up and down my spine. The same old witchcraft when your eyes meet mine. The same old tingle that I feel inside. And then the elevator starts its rise. Down and down I go. Round and round I go. In a spin. Love of the spin I'm in. Under the old black magic called. Oh, oh, oh. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Edie, listen, I can explain. Actually, no, I can't. I never want to talk to you again. Marty, where have you been? I just humiliated myself, and I killed any chance I had with Edie. I'm sorry, I was busy. Busy? What could have been more important than this? Helping an elderly lady make the transition to a better place? All right, that's one. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about Edie. Ah, she never really liked me. But someday I'm gonna find a girl who can appreciate my talent. Rock collecting. <laughs> no one can touch your feldspar. <laughs> I have to admit, you were right all along. But from now on, nothing but the truth. Hey, Steve! How were we? You guys were great! <laughs> Steve, Steve, come quick. You have to see this. Swing low, sweet chariot. I said I'm coming for to carry me home. Swing low. Sweet cherry a heart a coming for to carry me home. Well I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. I said swing low, yeah, sweet cherry. Coming for to carry me home, Lord, I swing low, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. <laughs>